Welcome back to Call Your Focus. A groundbreaking ceremony was held for the Oil Well Road Improvement Project on Friday, March 5th, on the grounds of Corkscrew Middle School. Plans call for the existing two-lane roadway to be widened to four lanes for the portion from Immokalee Road to just west of Everglades Boulevard and to six lanes from Oil Well Grade Road to Ave Maria Boulevard. We asked Commissioner Jim Coletta why this project is so badly needed. We're very fortunate in the fact that we have this element of our transportation program coming online at this point in time. This area here for a number of years was underserved. I'm talking about the Orange Tree Waterway, Ave Maria, all the way to Immokalee as far as transportation corridors go. Uh, back uh, about three four years ago, we got to open up the Immokalee uh, Road extension right down to Oil Well Road. And the next step, of course, is Oil Well Road, then to Camp Tees, the Camp Tees to Immokalee to be able to comport, complete a comport link. This element that we're bringing on today is going to mean a lot to the people, especially in the Orange, Orange Tree Waterway community uh, and the schools of uh, the, the, the two grade schools and the high school that are also here. It's going to make their transportation um, function a lot better than it does today. And the sidewalks that are going to go in are going to meet the needs of the residents in this area now and into the distant future. It only could have been done uh, through the, uh, and it has been done through the efforts of the county commission and the county staff. And the residents here have played an important role in the planning and designing of this road. We're very thankful to all the elements out there. We're very thankful today that we are having this asphalt ready to go down into place. The approximately $39 million project was awarded to Mitchell and Stark Construction Company, Incorporated. The inaugural Pepper Ranch Youth Hunt, designed to help solve the feral hog problem at the ranch, has reached its limit of participants. The youth hunt will be April 16th, 17th, and 18th, and if enough additional kids are interested in a second youth hunt, it may be held at the end of April. Conservation Collier has also began to finalize the plans for opening the ranch for hunters this fall. Right now, public input is still being gathered, and Principal Environmental Specialist Melissa Hennig tells us what kind of input they're looking for. We just kind of want to know expectations, and it's been really great feedback. Um, the hunters in all the meetings, they came to a consensus that they'd be okay with maybe one hunt a month or less. Um, max maybe 10 people at the ranch at a time for a hunt, and they do want a random draw system so that it's fair and everyone gets a fair shot at hunting. Now, if you want more information on hunting at Pepper Ranch, call Conservation Collier at 252-2957. The Collier County Health Department has received a one-time grant to offer childhood immunizations during evening and weekend hours. The program runs until July 1st, and Health Department Public Information Officer Deb Melsap gives us the details. Vaccines that are available are all the vaccines that children need between infancy to age 18. And so they're anything from tetanus to measles, mumps, chickenpox, rubella, pertussis, there's a handful or, or about a dozen different vaccines. And they are free and convenient because we're gonna offer them in two locations, um, the Golden Gate WIC office and also in, at our Immokalee office. If you want more information on the free vaccination program, you can reach them at 252-8220. The Florida Department of Transportation is expanding the Judge S.S. Jolly Bridge on State Route 951, connecting Marco Island to the mainland. Construction began in January on a new two-lane span adjacent to the existing bridge. The project has been on the wish list for the Metropolitan Planning Organization for a long time. It's a project that's been on our books in terms of... Um, annual uh, reporting of uh, project priorities for this MPO in, in this region uh, for, for many years, well over a decade, uh, it's been identified as, as something that's been needed. However, uh, because of funding constraints and uh, around the state and particularly in FDOT's District 1, there have always been higher priority projects mainly related to um, level of service and, and, and things like that where there have been other facilities that have just been identified as a higher need. So it's been kind of languishing for a while. Uh, the MPO did a uh, toll feasibility study, you may recall, a, a couple years back. And um, the result was that of that, of the toll feasibility study, was that uh, the public, particularly the, the residents in and around Marco Island, uh, were just not pleased with the idea of using tolling 
as a mechanism to fund construction of, of this new span, even though it's been identified as a very significant need. So we feel this, um, this funding opportunity from the federal government uh, as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act has, has just been a great uh, opportunity to actually get this project underway. The budget for the project is $25.5 million and construction will last about two years. Now let's take a look at some upcoming Collier County government meetings. The following meetings are all held in the board meeting room on the third floor of the W. Harmon Turner building in the Collier County Government Center, unless otherwise indicated. On Thursday, March 18th at 8.30 a.m., the Collier County Planning Commission will meet in regular session. The Collier County Metropolitan Planning Organization will meet on Friday, March 19th at 1.30 p.m. And on Tuesday, March 23rd at 9 a.m., the Board of County Commissioners will meet in regular session. For more information on Collier County Government or to inquire about other meetings that have been scheduled since the taping of this program, contact the Communication and Customer Relations Department at 252-8848 or via email troymiller at colliergov.net. You can also click on our website at colliergov.net for more information. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Collier Focus. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.